Creating a complete animated movie with AI might sound like a dream. The biggest challenge keeping characters consistent across scenes. I mean no one wants the protagonist changing halfway through the movie. In this step by step video, I'll cover a way to make your own Pixar style movie using Luma Labs Dream Machine with bang on consistency that you may monetize to make a passive income like these channels. But first, let's see a quick animated trailer I put together using it. Once upon a time, Max, wake up. He might seem dumb, oh, shit. but these experiments were necessary. Max, come for breakfast right now. I'm coming. God, it's sandwich again. Max, your grandpa used this golden sandwich. Yeah, yeah, to make a ring for my Mima. Whoa! Transported to 1920. My sandwich. Reunited with his grandpa to meet his love. Isn't she pretty? That's Mima. She stuck with me at my best and worst, but he's poor and only has a diamond left by his mother. Maybe you can make a ring out of this sandwich. Thanks to Max. Wonder where he went. Holy shit! Whoever made this is a threat. Now I know why my breakfast's boring. From generating the animations on Luma to adding voiceovers and lip syncs to get a cohesive story, let's dive into Luma Labs. Click on Try Now and sign up with Google. You get 30 free generations per month. But since it's in high demand, I'd suggest going for a subscription to get faster outputs. All your generations will be visible here. Right away, let's start with an example of text to video. Input your prompt here. I'll use an elven girl with a face tattoo with text. We'll keep enhanced prompt off for now and hit the arrow to generate. We get a high quality output with the text, which is really impressive. You can download it from here. Here's another one in Pixar style. Let's first see how to get consistent cinematic outputs using text to video. First find or generate an image of any character you like. I'll use this one. You can use my prompt template to generate a cinematic one like this. Now go to ChatGPT and input this image along with the prompt I've provided below. And copy this prompt to then paste it over to Dream Machine. By editing this prompt, keeping the character's features and only changing the setting and actions, you can get consistent cinematic outputs like these for movie scenes. But for consistent Pixar style outputs, the image to video feature of this tool really shines. We'll use it to create our movie. By using consistent scenes I generated on ideogram to use as input. You may use any image generator. Just use my character prompt template in the image generator and fill it according to your story. I went for a 14 year old boy wearing a lab coat for mine. After getting a desired result, copy the seed number and repeat this process by replacing different actions and backgrounds while keeping the same character details. I've also provided a template to create consistent scenes with multiple characters. Use the same process of copying seed and changing actions. After we've gathered all the images related to our story, let's start animating them by clicking this icon and dropping our very first scene. I'll specify the emotion, age and the action of pressing buttons in the scene, adding 3D Pixar style at the end and generate the video. And we see the image animated really well, catching up on the expressions and action of pressing buttons. It even animated the background accurately since I mentioned the time machine. Make sure to specify the age of the character and style desired for best accuracy. In the second scene, we want the boy talking with an annoyed expression while eating his sandwich. A good practice is to specify an article of clothing when referring referencing one character in a scene with multiple. You will see the extend button below. We can use it to lengthen the 5 second video to 10. Specify the next action you want, but not like this. Remember, specify clothing, action and style. It should be as detailed as the starting prompt and generate. The output is really adherent to the prompt. Now let's learn about enhance using this image of the boy getting sucked into the portal as input, adding the same in the prompt and turning enhance on. The output looks truly cool with the portal effect which is hard to achieve. I also tried repeating it with enhance off. On comparing both features, we see enhance is better for scenes needing motion where fidelity is not key, whereas enhance off is usually better for higher consistency and lower motion. The next scene is dynamic and needs a warp effect as Max is thrown out of the portal. We'll use the keyframe feature only available in Luma, inputting one image of him in one position and the second image of him in another, adding in the usual prompt to get this zoom warp effect. It's also great for transitions. Like here we want this first frame to morph into this poster. To get camera movement, you can define it in prompts like this FPV drone shot. Or use the slash camera at the beginning or end of your prompts and selecting the desired one to get an effect like this one in your scenes. To animate this poster image, I'll define a Pixar style poster while turning on the loop option to get this looping video output.
After animating all the images, we'll download all the videos and we'll go to Eleven Labs to generate some voiceovers to go along with the scenes instead of using the boring ones. I suggest you use a community voice for expressiveness. So go to voices and library to use voices suited to your characters. Now let's head over to CapCut and add all the scenes we generated on Dream Machine, dragging them to the timeline to adjust, trim and place our voiceovers over the relevant scenes to bring it into Sync Labs where we'll create a new project and upload our audio and video file of the movie separately to get the lip sync footage we can download, finally adding some sound effects to get this complete movie. So do check out Dream Machine using my link below and comment down your results. You can download all the templates and resources I've provided in the description. Till then, see you in the next one.